can and be nice these days, guys. Let people buy. That's why I don't be letting people buy in traffic right there. Try to be nice. Let some nobody else let this lady buy. But here I go being a good Samaritan. Oh, I'm going to let her buy. And what she do? She didn't go. She didn't say thank you, nothing. And thus, why other people sit in traffic all day long. Because they can't be thankful and appreciative of their, you know, lessons to be able to drive. Or, you know, it's not mandatory to drive. You're able and you're blessed. And, like, you're, it's not an obligation. And people out here in my state feel like they're obligated to drive. They feel like they're obligated to stop you from block your driveway, block you from getting out, and then be rude about it. It's like, or you let them out because other folks are blocking them, and they don't even say thank you. Consideration works. It goes a long way. Don't you think? I'm just saying. Just saying. Welcome back, guys, to my crazy big black family on YouTube, guys. Like I promised, I'm on another drop-off. Good morning, Alisa. Good morning, Polly. Tell the folk good morning. So I'm dropping Alisa off, guys. Look at that little scenery in the background. Y'all want to see that? Look at that. Look at that. Nice little park scenery. I'm dropping her off to her school. Um, she's in her senior year, guys. So I'm dropping her off to let her start her day. Turn that heat off, Pulley. I'm overheated on me. It's a little too hot. A little too. You know, you just turn this one. That. Jack of all trades. I could turn the heat off with one hand, hold the camera with the other hand, drive with both the other hand. I do it all. Comment down below if you can do this all effectively, safely, and pick my glasses up off the floor because they fell. I know one freaking thing. I better not be getting no, oh my gosh. Because this car just gaily went into a freaking big asshole. If I got a freaking flat, I'm going to freaking cry. I'm serious. Cause it was a big asshole, guys. I'm a calm, I'm literally, and I feel like my <laughs> stand was pulling to the side, which kind of indicates usually the tire was pressure as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm in this vlog. Pulley, when you get out, let me know if the tire is low. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what I'm working with. Is it, do I got a low tire? Do it, do it look like it's flat? I don't know, guys. I hear a little something. I know we also got to get brake pads, but I don't know. It sound like a little... And you talking about pull up to the front. You better be hoping if I can get out this parking lot. Why would if I have a flat? Seriously. I said, I don't think you're supposed to get pulled, dropped off at the front. He's doing it. They do. No, but they're not supposed to. That's fine. Right here. Love you. See you later. Have a nice day. Love you. See you later. Tell these folks, love you. See you later. Oh, that's another flat tire. No, look on this side. Look on the other side, too. <laughs> she said her tire is not low. Okay. I hope not. Okay. She said I got it. My tie is fine. So we're going to go ahead and take off here. We're going to get a little, get around this. And we're out, guys. Seeing that she's saying that I got good tire, um, tire pressure. I'm not low. I don't got no flat or nothing. This got to be a, um, a, what do you call it? A freaking... A rental in front of us, uh, maybe because like it says in Utah, and it doesn't it doesn't look like it's like an old car. It looks like that's a rental because like this is not Utah. No offense to Utah, but I'm like, what, guys? You you know what? And this is the thing too. I hate freaking when I get caught at the at the school in the line. Like this is why I didn't want to bring my daughter right here because she always be like, oh, just bring me right here. 
Then I gotta wait for like 80 students to cross. Guys, comment down below if you got some system when you have to drop your kids off at school. It's so annoying. Why is it always like a system when you gotta drop your kids off? Oh, drive through this way. Come out the other way. Like, comment down below if you have to have some system when you drop your kids off at school. Definitely, I know the suburbs always do. They act like, you would think it's like some whole big freaking, like they're going to some, they're parking at a concert or something. Oh, come in this way. And if you break the code, they're like, oh, you looking at you like you crazy. You should, you're not supposed to go that way and this and that. Man, listen, it's a freaking parking lot. Relax. Oh, God, this girl breaks. It's terrible. Lord. Oh, yeah, guys, but please don't forget to subscribe to my crazy big black family, guys, on YouTube. And if you like more of this content, if you like this video, you like this vlog that you're tuning into, it is, again, my crazy big black family on YouTube, guys. And please don't forget, get subscribed. I am on my way back to the house again okay. after drop-off two. Um... Brian's not. I don't think he. Yeah, he's probably he's is gonna go to school today. No, little oh, but, but yeah. yeah. Said maybe if it's oh yeah, don't try to screw me over. That's the thing. Um. So if I have to bring Budge, I won't have to bring him to like when I have to pick a Shanti up. So that's cool. That's I don't gotta worry about. Damn, I gotta go back out, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this turn because I don't feel like going all the way down and all that BS and everything else, guys. Comment down below. I be trying to find the quickest way back to the house because I'm gonna be out here off and on all day long. So the quicker I can get back to my house from any run is better for me. Cause then I'm gonna be right back for some, oh, you gotta bring this one. Oh, you gotta bring that one. Oh, you gotta pick, at 8.50 I gotta pick up a Shanti in the next town over. Which luckily, like when I go the back way, it only takes like five minutes to get to where she's going. Maybe like no more than seven minutes, less than 10, definitely. So I just shoot and get her. She get out at 8.50. But it's like, then when I get to that school that she works at, I'm like, I'm in the freaking parent, again, line for the kids to be picked up. And it's like, oh, I literally just want to just go do this and come back home. I didn't want it to be a whole thing. Damn. And I'm like feeling like I'm on a damn roller coaster right now with this damn curve. Hey, good morning, Brianna. Good morning. Brianna's doing her face regimen, guys. Her morning routine. Lifestyle. For hot biscuits. I gotta be careful with certain stuff because, like, if I use, I don't know if I hibiscus, I could or could well, not be like, allergic yeah, to it. Yeah, burn it. Okay. I'm I've used hibiscus, hibiscus before, and I didn't like itch or nothing, so I don't think I'm allergic to it. But I'm allergic to a lot of different like flowers. I'm allergic to purple flowers, lavender. I'm allergic. Um, a lot of um green flowers a lot of the trees outside a little a lot of the grass all that stuff allergy prone pineapples freaking coconut chocolate everything literally everything you name it and i'm literally am allergic to it and especially the older i get it's like another every day another allergy will be added on to the list it's ridiculous if y'all hear that in the background that's my daughter's breaks it don't make no sense you know something, guys? That's the thing about cars. I mean, they're blessed to have a car. Not going to lie. Use, new, whatever. New, use, whatever. But it's like, damn. You always got to do some BS to keep the car up. So now, we like we got to get the brake pads done on this car. Probably going to have to get rotors done because it sounds like it's rotors. So probably brake pads and rotors. Front. And it's like... Damn, I just got the car on the road not too long ago. Got the sticker and all that mess. And now here we go with some technical BS. The brake pads and rotors got to be done. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I'm going to do that. 
because you got no choice. And I think I may or may not need back tires. But then again, it seems like her car handles pretty good on like slippery surface. So I don't know. I got to take a look at it. See if they, her tires are bald. But I know they're not bald, but like if she needs new tires or anything in the back. Because her front tires seem to be pretty good. Put a bike trail going all the way up here. Mm. Okay. The bike trail's far. Yeah, it goes all the way up there. Oh, guys. I'm telling you, mom's life. Woo! Day in, day out. One by one. Comment down below what your, what your morning routine or mom's life or mom's status is. Because, honey, let me tell you right now. This is my life. You know, like that show? This is your life. Well, this literally is my life, guys. Because, damn. I'm like, geez. And then folks wonder why they don't see me from, like, 5 in the evening to, like, 12 at night. You know why? Because I be sleep. That's why. Because all morning long, this is what my life is consistent of. The bull. Back and forth. In and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Ride back and forth. Ride back and forth. Pick this one up. Drop that one up. Pick this one up. Drop that one up. Go to the store. Go to the other store. Pick this one up. Go make this call. Check the website. 